I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing two basic commands to teach your puppy. I will be training with my 11 week old Aussie Doodle Mal. She is precious and she's amazing. So, this is Mal. Say hi, Mal. Hi, YouTube. You guys are the best. Woo. Really? That's what I was gonna say too, only it's at the end. So, good job. Good job. <laughs> anyway, um, so the tricks I'm going to be teaching you today are sit and come because they're very useful for certain situations. I'll explain why. And don't worry if your puppy doesn't grasp any of these quickly. Mal didn't either, but Mal is being trained to be my future service dog, so her training's more advanced, I'm doing it more often, you know, caught everything a lot quicker, haven't you? That's really all I've got, so um, if you guys are ready, we'll go. Okay, so I'm going to start out here outside with Mal, and I'm going to show you how I taught her to sit and come and those are really important for having a new puppy because like come we live on a main highway so like if you're walking and the dog's like oh I'm gonna go to the road you need to have that gum you know so that they know to come what are you eating and sit is of course good if you have a hyper puppy which she's very hyper um, if they're jumping and going crazy then you can command them to sit and it's a lot easier it's really bright out here today. It's like, whew. So I'm going to start with sit because that's probably one of the easiest commands you can ever train your dog. It is insanely easy. Um, so yeah, let's go. Mel, sit. Good. So what you're gonna wanna do for sit is whenever the puppy doesn't know, most likely dog's instinct anyway, is whenever they want something, they know that if you hold it up high, usually they have to sit if they're gonna jump for it. So you're gonna come away. You're gonna wait until they sit all four paws on the ground. You want them to know that they sit. You know, so come here. Come. Sit. Yes, good girl. sit was I took the tree and you hold it right above their nose if they're standing up they're standing up. Hold it right above their nose and hold it right above them so that they have to really try for it. Really try to sit for it. There you go. was a little more difficult to train because you want them to come immediately when called. You don't want there to be a, oh, but look, there's a car. Oh, but look, there's a toy. You know, you want them to come right whenever you say come. You don't want them to be running away from you or anything like that. So for the first couple weeks that I trained Mount, I kept her on a leash, like, all the time. And so I'd tell her to come. And if she tried to walk away, or if she didn't come immediately, you get the leash pull, you know? You tell her to come, you know? So I would advise you to keep a leash on your dog, and, you know, all the time. I even walked around the house with a leash, with Mal. Like, we would just walk around the house and she'd be on a leash. And, uh, and you don't want to do it hard, you don't want to hurt your puppy, and you don't want to make them fear you. But just a, just a slight, you know, come here, you know, then that'll, that'll do it, probably. You're being very cool. Yes, can you lay down? Good girl. Um, so yes, I would, I would advise you to keep a leash whenever you train so that there's no running off or anything like that. <laughs> um, so, Whenever you're beginning with your puppy and you have it on the leash, you're going to want to place the puppy in a different 
different spot, and I always started when I was distracted. So you want her to know that even whenever there's distractions, you still come. Back up here. Sit. Yes. Wait. Wait for just a minute, okay? And so you're gonna want to wait until your puppy's distracted by something, something else. Mouth, come. Yes. And you're gonna want to make sure that they are on that leash at all times, so that there's no you can get away with this because I've I've found this out the hard way with an earlier dog Percy that I had that if uh, if you let them get away with something one time if if they start walking away and you don't have a leash on them and they start walking away and you don't go pick them up and correct them and say come then uh, then they got away with it that one time and so they can do it again and again and again and they'll never come so you should always keep them on a leash whenever you can and whenever you can't make sure that you don't just let them oh well she walked away that one time that's okay that's it yes thank you yes and then whenever your dog isn't on a leash which you know you're rolling around in the house or you're you know you can't have your dog on a leash all the time so isn't on a leash. Come. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Good girl. See, and now she is in the routine. I've had her for three weeks, and so now we're in the routine of she knows that she just follows me everywhere. There's no, uh, there's no waiting around. So yeah, we follow mom everywhere. No, sit. Good girl. And, um, here, mom. Sit. Wait. Okay, mom. Come. Sit. Yes, very good. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, Please like and subscribe below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Have a great day, you too. Bye. <coughs> You're cute.